let's see what's going on. We do have the Eight of Pentacles and we have the Magician working on your awareness and awakening. The Magician is all about changes, life-altering events, taking charge, feeling confident and working on it. Eight of Pentacles, right? And for some of you, you are manifesting strongly something and you are working on your manifestation. Eight of Pentacles is the energy of learning. And uh, we do have partnership and alliances. We might be um, waiting actually on a partnership with somebody, an opportunity to. And the Five of Pentacles, rejection. Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, somebody is working on a on either their feelings in regards to a rejection either something happened and now we are working towards repairing a situation and we do have the four of pentacles we never let go of this connection of this person right there has been rejection separation silent treatment but we still have them um in our energy and the seven of wands standing your ground fighting for this working and fighting for this i love this vices <clears throat> so let's see what this is all about let's have the overall energy at this time and for this period and we do have the chariot we do have triumph this is cancer energy by the way you might be um dealing with a cancer we do have mental conflict two of swords we are contemplating and thinking about this success and triumph that we want for some of you who want to break free, the, the chariot is the energy of breaking free and leaving behind something that's no longer um, um, serving, important. And um, we are still, you know, in a mental conflict here. We don't know. We do have the seven of swords and the sun. Something might be deceptive, but at the same time it will come um, to the surface at the light where... We see this with the uh, the sun card. For some of you, it might be a Cancer and the Leo involved in this, or one of them. So let's see what's going on. <coughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. I know. So Pisces, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and my actual energies. <coughs> okay. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the... <coughs> Sorry. I know, I know I'm losing my voice. And the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And we do have the star. That is hope, right? Hope for triumph. We might be conflicted right now, but that is hope here. Hope and triumph. And we still have the Five of Pentacles. Some rejection happening. And separation. Are you kidding me? The whole shuffling we had the Magician with the Eight of Pentacles. And now we have um, we have this. So, um, Pisces, I feel that you put a lot of effort in this connection. Oh, we do have the Eight of Pentacles. And I would say a lot of magic. <clears throat> More for some of you, you got aware of something. This is the energy of awakening and the law of attraction. And again, with the Eight of Pentacles is the energy of effort. So I kind of feel that you put a lot of effort and probably um, this relationship of yours might have um, also required a lot of work. And I would say a lot of learning too. Uh, we know the Eight of Pentacles is honing a skill. It's the apprenticeship card. For some of you might have um, been a connection in the workplace, but I'm sensing because of the combination of energies um, that actually is more you becoming aware that this connection is a lot of work and <clears throat> and a lot of learning, a lot of adjustment. And because we are learning, we are also making mistakes, right? So somebody was making mistakes and then learning and then evolving and then, and then you become aware of something, right? Uh, it's the awakening card, it's the awareness, it's the changes, right? When when the mind longs for something that has to be different and more powerful. Some of you, of course, you, you, you became confident of something and said, you know what, I'm ready for life altering events, you know. Now this person of yours in the past, 
they might have been discontent and bored with this connection and yet they had a lot of love for you. Two of Cups might have been a missed opportunity uh, for some of you, and um, but they were aware, right, of this spiritual union, of this bond. It was strong and yet, um, you know, the situation didn't um, kind of go in their favor. At least this is how the energy we are having here. Because um, I'm, I'm sensing you went through an awakening and an illumination of some sort and probably you saw the situation from with different eyes and um, it was no longer paying off. And um, you are ready for more, right? Isn't it interesting? Uh, mutual energies between the two of you in the past. We do have the Ace of Cups. Somebody had an offer on the table while the other person was in the waiting game in the crossroads energy in i am about to choose a new path that's a two of wands and the magician actually is a strong image and of course right you can swap energy sides and you take only what's yours and you claim only what you resonate with but absolutely we have somebody here in extreme love and emotions for you wanting to start new we have ace of cups and the two of cups might have been a connection that never really took off. That's the energy. When we, every time we have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups, it's, we never got to the Ten of Cups, right? So for some of you, it might have been actually something that started um, and stopped quickly because, um, you know, you might have been aware of something. You might have uh, made choices based on your own self-awareness and your own uh, life plan because that's the magician changes and and a life plan so um but boy they love the Pisces. if you're wondering i don't know if that's your question so where are we right now we do have the empress and the six of pentacles so we absolutely want to nurture this um energy again uh the empress is coming from a place of love of stability of um attraction sensuality and also um you know from a place of this is going to be abundant. This is going to be stable. This is, I'm not going to be concerned about anything, right? That's the energy of the Empress. And the Six of Pentacles is the energy of balance, of justice, of fairness, the energy of decisions, and also the energy of sharing and um, of generosity, right? Both energies. And might be the mother of your children, the father of your children, Pisces. We do have the Empress. We know it's masculine, feminine. We know how this is in tarot and um and i believe we want this person back actually or something like that we want to make amends oh isn't it beautiful you are mirroring each other so um pisces they are patiently waiting for you we do have patience and planning seven of pentacles they know the harvest is coming it's just a matter of time it's a matter of when right and they mirror you with the reciprocation card, Six of Pentacles, right? Stability, generosity, love, balance, decisions. And, um, yeah, and a sense of justice, a sense of fairness, right? Absolutely, you mirror each other, but I'm sensing on your part is a little bit more loving energies and um, Empress is such an energy of comfort, is an energy of stability, of you know loving energies of uh, of abundance and feeling safe and secure so either you are longing for this but because it's with the reciprocation card i feel kind of like you know it um um you are ready for this and they are waiting for this kind of now mutual energies between you and this person we do have the tower and the ace of swords one is triumphant success one is disruption and it's right in the middle of the reading honestly this does look like a surprise um surprise conversation surprise new beginnings um the tower is about right the surprise that changes fully changes the whole system in place but it's in a good it's combined with a good energy of clarity and um and um, new beginnings and a plan and being smart about something and cutting off whatever was um you know kind of um uh, preventing this success, this successful connection from happening. Triumphant success, right? 
and you don't have a lot of zodiac signs you do have um cancer you do have aquarius you have libra energy taurus energy leo energy leo feminine right um and that's about it we'll see what the energy is coming your way but it's like a surprising conversation surprising new beginnings surprising reaction of ace of swords it's quite sudden um changes oh my god pisces coming your way we have the tower and the nine of swords we are afraid of this disruption you might see them as a disruption i call them sweet trouble but again you know <laughs> it depends right um but we have suffering in silence and disruption i don't know if this new beginning involves like a disruption of some sort you have it twice you have it as coming your way and you have it as the um central energy here right so that is a form of disruption that we are afraid and actually in order for whatever this fairness and justice and nurturing energy is to come in we have to go through this and with the ace of swords is like the clarity of the mind that is no other way but this one kind of energy this is how it feels and this person of yours they are so in pain over you pisces we do have the three of swords and the five of pentacles the rejection and the pain is kind of difficult oops sorry guys that's my phone um so uh the disruption and the pain is so 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 big right heartache and loss and the five of pentacles they might be going through financial challenges also maybe if you are married to this person and um right uh separation is like a you know whatever shared resources happened in the past they are no longer there so they might be going through that while being you know mutual energies between you and this person we do have the six of wands and the sun leo energy and the four of swords so might might be a leo between you and this person might be this person a leo and they stand between you and but it's not the overall energy that i'm picking up on the contrary you are loved by this person and they want to they want to reciprocate feelings they are patiently waiting for you heartbroken and on your side that is this explosion that's probably uh, making you anxious with the nine of swords right we are a little bit anxious about this how am i going to do it right how am i going to have this new beginning and again mutual and it's interesting we do have the sun and the and the victory and success so it's a form of illumination it's somebody somebody's getting their wish while the other person is in the four of swords energy right and because we are in a mental conflict and two is for choices maybe somebody here has choices and one choice goes with victory and success while the other one involves tower moment and anxiety and also four of swords rest and rejuvenate for some of you might be your victory stands in the way of this connection for some of you or their victory but again right you can uh you choose the um the side you know you swap the energies and you you take what you feel it's yours but both of you you are suffering like crazy over here um in silence a sense of disruption a sense of wanting to be victorious to break free that is hope but then there is this mental conflict that creates um the tower moment right But they are so in pain over you baby so in pain now let's ask for some guidance Pisces let's see what we need to do here and what we need to know we have separation the guidance is separation Pisces time apart from your partner is on the horizon and we also have healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive it says your parents i don't feel this is about parents but so separation and healing family issues that's a lot of effort right a little bit that has to be put in in this connection now let's see what energies we need to get back into the flow in this connection in particular we have responsibilities and it kind of comes with the healing family issues and responsibility right so you are aware of the power of your thoughts and the amount of love you express right so you are um 
kind of ask to be mindful about the way you share, the way you communicate and you you share your thoughts, I would say. We have forgiveness. We are now able to activate the power, you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. So we speak our truth without hurting people and we also forgive, right? You are guided to bring these energies back into the flow. Okay, I'm going to take both of them because this is what happened. We do have love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Okay. And we have balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. And bottom of the deck, we have freedom. Somebody here. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And it's interesting, the chariot is really the energy of breaking free and staying hopeful that one day you'll be free of some sort of, of this, whatever this is, okay? Whatever this tower moment is happening. Love and balance, right? Responsibility, forgiveness, freedom, love and balance. Yeah, I believe we need to let go Pisces and probably is such a tower moment to let go of somebody. And probably you might have children with, because we do have the Empress, you might have children with this person. Um, but you have like, how about we let them go, you know? We do have the justice, um, fair decisions. The justice, you might be a separation, divorce, maybe that's a tower moment. So your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there is nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. You have twice the energy of, um, of forgiveness, right? And now we have Eight of Cups, again, the energy of walking away. The, your destiny is calling your new, your new path. And it says you feel a deep longing for something meaningful in your life. It's like your soul longs for something new, right? But we have to make fair decisions, do what's right. Separation and freedom, right? We, we have something we need to deal with first. So it says in your heart you know that there is more out there waiting for you in the world. It may be time to switch careers, move to a new home or city, or initiate other important changes. Do what's right for you and seek out your magical new life. Yeah. Um, clearly somebody is suffering in silence and longing for something else here. Clearly. But the other day we are both suffering here, honestly. And that is still love. So, hey, Pisces, now you have a problem on your hands, right? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure I picked up the energy of somebody saying, yeah, I know, I'm going through this every day. I know, I know. Now we have guidance, fair decisions and walking away. So, um, hey, Pisces, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe and strong. As always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.